Alrighty then, so Audio Boy Playtune is a library that allows you to play MIDI music. Um, the example that comes with the Arduino, uh, if you go to File, Examples, Audio Boy, Tunes, you end up with an example that plays some um, uh, classical music. Well, I modified that a little bit to play the Journey to Silius track. Uh, for audio for track one. So uh, I'll let it play for a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like on an any emulated NES uh, web page. Let's try this one. Let's let it play for a second. Okay, that works well. I mean, clearly there are many more channels on the NES than there are on the uh, Arduino Boy. But what I did was, excuse me, I took the MIDI file that I downloaded from vgmusic.com and I brought it down to one track and I removed the percussion because what I learned was percussion was, well, that too many tracks makes it sound like shit and the Arduino Boy will actually skip notes if it can't play it, which is fine. But this is what it sounds like with a shitty synthesizer. So that's fine. Um, and then what I did was I saved that to a MIDI file and then I leveraged the um, MIDI Tones tool which is suggested by a tool called Ardu Playtune. So this is a library that will take MIDI data and, um, well, sorry, it'll take the hex version of the MIDI data and play it on the Ardu Boy. And it's actually very compatible where um, you can execute something called a tone function it seems and if we want to have a pew pew sound that works well, and it'll actually emit or um, omit uh, notes being played by the music. So I'm very excited to try this out in a little bit. But um, the key here is that we have the Journey to Silius track, which sounds like this. And then I exported it from Reason to a standard MIDI file and used MIDI Tones. MIDI Tones is a free library which is actually suggested by the Ardu Playtune. You see MIDI tones right there. And then what that does is that actually emits the hex data. And I can go ahead and tell it to run. And when I do that, let's see if I can turn this on. This is what happens. So there you go. We have music, and my next step is to uh, set up a program where you press a button and it will play like pew pew sounds. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can figure those as MIDI notes or something like that. But uh, this is a huge leap forward in just less than a day. Thank you, open source community.